Uh, Elijah in Alabama. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, I was, I, I've only seen a couple of your YouTube clips uh, here recently, and I've been kind of, uh, I've noticed this uh, topic of burden of proof comes up every now and again, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, it, and it seems to me, and you know, I, I know you guys, you know, don't believe in God and, and all that, but it just seems to me that from the perception of God always existing, would the burden of proof not be on the foot of the atheist? to disprove God as opposed to the Christian to prove the existence of God. Well, uh, let me ask you something. Do you believe in unicorns? Well, I mean, unicorns are in the Bible. Uh, oh, so yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you believe in uh, leprechauns? Well, no. Those are, no. Uh, have you conclusively proven that there aren't any leprechauns? No, I mean, I'm not in the business of disproving anything, really, though. All right, not... well, there you go. What do you mean? I, I mean, we're not necessarily in the business of disproving God. We just don't believe in, in a God. Oh, no, no, I'm not, that, you know, I'm not asking you to disprove God or anything All like right. that. I'm just trying to understand where the burden of proof is comes from in the perception of somebody who believes in God and has believed that God has always existed, why would the burden of proof be on that person as opposed to the person who's denying the existence of God? Well, first of all, the person's not necessarily denying the existence of God to not believe it. Um, just like there, you know, there might be somebody who says, I'm not sure you know, whether or not my husband is faithful. I don't know what I believe there. And you say, well, so you don't believe they're faithful, right? So you think they're cheating? No, I don't know. So not believing something doesn't mean that you necessarily are calling it false. But at the same time, when someone makes a claim, like let's say someone comes to me and says God exists, I don't even know initially what, what they're claiming. So I'm asking questions like, what do you mean by God, and what are you looking at when you're talking about God? What kind of reference are, you know, are we making? And, and when you make claims about this God, where do I go in order to assess those claims about reality so that I can then try to determine whether what you're claiming about the God is correct or not correct? Otherwise, it's just you simply talking about what you believe without me having any way to verify it. And so... Um, Obviously, if I've got competing people coming to me with competing claims about God, I have to have something by which to say, you know, what, what is it that we're talking about? Where is the evidence for me to examine to try and determine, you know, what is correct among all these claims, right? So, so the people have to present their evidence in, in regard to what they're claiming here. Yeah, uh, I can see that. Uh, I get what you're saying. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just kind of like... Uh, I'm, let me think of a way to state this perfectly here. Uh, I guess I'm just trying to say that, you know, like, I, I, I meet atheists out there, you know, just, you know, through my friends, you know, at, at get-togethers and whatnot, and they'll, they'll come to me saying that when I, you know, maybe I'll make a statement about God or something like that just offhandedly, and then they'll come to me saying that God doesn't exist. So would the burden of proof be on them if, they're saying I, that to me. Actually, I think at that point, if they're flat out saying yeah. uh, God doesn't exist, you are perfectly within your rights to say, uh, that, that, can you prove that? This whole, that's, where, that's why I called you guys, because yeah. I mean, like, they like they told me, well, the burden of proof is on you as somebody who believes in God, and I'm, and I'm kind of thinking, you know, I, I already believed in God. I, if you come to me and say that God's not real, then the burden of proof would lie on you. Yeah, I agree. And I would probably, in that case, because I would be the type of person who would probably say, I accept that a God doesn't exist. And I would probably go back toward that leprechaun example, basically saying, no, I have not demonstrated this to a certainty, but at the same time, um, we don't generally expect people to demonstrate things to a certainty before we accept they don't exist. And leprechauns are a great example of that. Yeah. Now, having said that, I mean, I don't want to give the impression that I don't feel solid about <laughs> not believing in God. I mean, I think there are perfectly good yeah. reasons uh, not to believe in God. I just wouldn't say for certain, uh, absolutely not, I have ruled out all possibility of God existing. And it sounds like your friends aren't on the same page with me. 
Or it's fair to just simply well, ask them well, what they mean by that. Like, ask yeah. them to explain it. Because, like I said, if, if I were to make such a statement, I would happily go to the leprechaun example and just simply point out that, you know, you believe in this God and you think I'm wrong to say that the God does not exist, and yet you'll say leprechauns don't exist and you'll admit that you haven't demonstrated it, and yet you accept that as, as a fair statement. So I would tend to sort of say I'm using it in that same vernacular, and if you can accept it in one instance, you should be able to accept it in the other and understand the intent. Um, and so in that regard, I would probably explain it that way. I don't know, I can't speak for the, your friends, but I do think at the point they say God does not exist, it's completely fair for you to say, you know, what do you mean by that statement? And you are making a positive claim here. So you do need to sort of explain in, what you mean. In, in the, whole, the, the whole thing about the <laughs> leprechauns, like, you know, I, I can see how that is a good example. I get what you're trying to say there. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, and, I, and, you know, I've heard people say this on your YouTube clips. They'll say, well, you know, I, I feel the existence of God. And you say, well, people felt the existence of Zeus. And I can understand where you're coming from with that. You can't prove a feeling, you know, there's no, there's no evidence in a feeling. I can understand that just fine. Uh, but, you know, you don't, you don't feel the presence of a leprechaun. You know, you don't, you don't feel the presence of a unicorn. I, don't, I just well, don't think... But people, people, people feel the presence of all kinds of weird, like, woo things, right? Like, there's people that believe in all kinds of strange, you know, healing techniques and things Yeah, that, they believe you know, in, like, auras and yeah. chakras. Yeah. And there, I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure you don't believe right. in that stuff, because that would be blasphemous, right? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't believe in that. I, you there know, you but at the same time, uh, yeah, it's, I would say it's because I, if, had I felt an aura, you know, per se, then I, I, I would be given the chance to believe in such a thing. But I've never felt that, so I can't believe in that. Yeah, but so until you, you do, wow. it's kind of reasonable to take sort of a skeptical... Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've, I've never, I've never experienced sonar, but I believe in it. I mean, <laughs> just because I haven't experienced a thing doesn't mean that I don't believe in it. I, I, like I say, I, I believe in sonar even though I don't have that capacity. Well, yeah, you know, but that that's something that, you know, that, that can be proven. You know, sonar can be proven. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah but, but aura can't. Yeah, but See, this is the issue. And so when somebody's talking about a god and they're saying, I feel this, I'm saying, well, I, don't, I don't doubt if, that you have feelings. If, are, I just, if we only exist in a, a, you know, if we only exist in what we perceive to be real and what we sense to be real and what we feel within ourselves, and I feel God within myself or what I'm labeling as God within myself, would that not be proof to me? Not necessarily to well, People, the question, the though, of of a God? the question to for me would be: When you say you feel God, what is it that you're? What in reality, right? Because you're saying it exists, so I assume it's real. What in reality are you calling God? What is it that you believe you're feeling? Can you demonstrate this to me? Yeah, it, it reminds me of a story I read by uh, Dan Barker, who used to be a fundamentalist Christian uh, uh, minister, and then. Uh, lost his faith gradually and became an atheist. And he said one of the events that stands out in his mind when he was a serious believer was that he strongly felt the presence of God one time, like giving him driving directions, telling him he was going to see a sign if he drives to some specific place. And he heard, like, you know, now turn right, now get out of the car and walk into this field. And he walks out into this field and and nothing happens. <laughs> And he's like, well, I must not be understanding the sign properly. Um, <laughs> right, right. There, there are things people feel. That, that and sounds more like schizophrenia than it does God. But it's, it's not, not schizophrenia. The, the point, though, I think Russell makes a fair point, which, for example, schizophrenia is a great example. Um, you'll have people that are schizophrenic who believe that they hear, for example, uh, voices and instructions coming to them from traffic noise. And so if that person says, well, I, you know, the traffic noise speaks to me, do I simply accept that the traffic noise is speaking to them, or do I think there's you know, something else going on there? Uh, and so when somebody tells me I feel God, my question is, I, you, know, you have this feeling, but, but how have you determined that what you're feeling is a God? Just like how has he determined that what he's experiencing is actually um, intentional messages from the traffic noise? Well, I, you know, I've never, uh, I've never gotten those feelings, you know, the ones that I am labeling God, the ones that I am choosing to label God. I've never gotten those feelings outside of, you know, prayer or when I read the Bible or when I speak on Jesus, things well, like that. I didn't feel so, I mean, it happens during times when you're strongly thinking about this God concept that, that you strongly yeah. believe in, and right. you are focusing right. on this idea, and then sure enough, you're feeling the thing you expect to feel. Sure.
Right. Well, you know, you know, I can, uh, you know, I can read a, a book by Kerouac. You know, I can, re- I can read a book, and, and you know, I can speak on that writer, or I can speak on that person, and I don't feel that same connection. You, yeah, you, but are you expecting Kerouac to appear in your head? I don't think so. No, but neither do I expect God to appear in my head, and I don't. It I wouldn't seems... say that He necessarily appears as an image or uh, or anything like that in my head. It's more of a felt presence. What do you think it is causing these feelings? Well, I don't know. You know, like to me, well, well, if you had a feeling when, causing that feeling, I would say it was God. Okay, but what does that mean? I don't know what God is. I don't know what you're calling God. So can you can you clue me in a little bit on what it is we're talking about when you say well, God is hard, causing this? It, it's hard to say what a what a what God is unless you are God. You know, I can't. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute now. It's not hard if, for me to if, say if what Tracy wait is. Wait a minute. If somebody's going to tell me that we're communicating here, and they say to me, "God caused this," and I say, "I'm not sure what a God is." Well, I've never. I, I don't think I've stated that God that God has caused anything for well, me or anything like that. You seem to be saying that you believe that the that the that these feelings are caused by a God. Am I misunderstanding okay. you? Okay. No, you're right. You're right. I Okay. I'll retract that. All right, uh, that's fine. So yeah, you, uh, you have these feelings. You believe they're caused by a god. I don't know. Uh, you're, when I hear this, what I'm hearing is X causes these feelings. And what I'm asking now is, okay, well, then let's examine what, it, what exactly are you saying is causing these feelings. What is X? Can you please solve for X in a way that makes sense to me that I can well, understand what I'm you a, mean by God? Well, I'm a, I'm a Christian Baptist. You know, I believe in the that God created us and whatnot. Okay. So when I feel the presence of okay. God, that is who I label God. That, okay, that so what, what you basically are good. saying to me is, I believe that X created everything, and when I feel these things, I think X is causing it, and I'm saying I still don't know what you're calling X. What are you calling God? Uh, I guess the, the creator. You know, uh, you know, what the, does that mean? What is the creator? The person who created the universe, Earth, all of his, all of existence. Where, where can, uh, you, and you're saying it causes these feelings, and, and I would like to then go and check your claim against reality. You're saying that it causes feelings in you, this thing. And I would like to go and look at this thing and see if it's possible that it, it can cause feelings in people like you're describing. So how do I do that? Well, I, you know, I'm not, I, I wasn't calling to, you know, prove to you that God exists. No, I, I'm just trying to understand. I'm not asking you to prove it. I'm trying to understand if I wanted to understand what you're describing, how would I go about doing that? If I wanted to know what you even mean by the word God, where would I get that information? Well, the Bible. Well, and I'm not telling you to go read the Bible. but I've already read it, but can you tell me I mean, what yeah, part yeah, specifically? Yeah. You know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not, you know, preaching or nothing, right. but if you tell me or if you ask me, where would you get the information that I have on God or what I believe to be in God? Then you when I, What I recall about the Bible and God is that it was a book of claims about the types of things that God does, the types, you know, certain things. Um, it, it had lots of interesting, I guess, things, but it didn't really give me any way to confirm those things against any sort of reality, right? So if I have all these other people making claims about X, X is this, X is that, and I'm saying... When tr- truth, would you agree with this or not, that truth is that which corresponds to reality? Like if someone claims something and it corresponds to reality, it's true. If it doesn't, then that would be false or a lie. Is that correct? Basically, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to... Would, yeah, yeah, but you would have to define reality. You know, reality okay. can be a lot of different things. So, for example, know, but, if you're in a boat and there are rocks in the water and you're navigating that channel... I'm going to call the rocks reality. Um, so basically, it, when you navigate the boat, if you ignore the rocks and you say they're not there, it doesn't really matter because the boat will hit them and you will sink regardless of your beliefs. So the rocks in that scenario would be reality. So I'm talking reality is the thing that we run into that we cannot deny because it confronts us and sinks our boat. So, well, uh, I guess well, I guess I need to clarify a little bit, uh, and I, I can see why. Uh, I guess I'm just saying, uh, it, it, like you know, you could perceive a dream as reality while in the moment of the dream. So right. reality. But, but we lie. recognize we recognize that it's not reality. That there's a difference between Maybe a dream if you're world. You're a lucid and, dreamer, but I mean, not everybody inside of a dream. Even can realize if you're a lucid dreamer, I would uh, I would think uh, you know there. 
Dreams are things that happen in your mind. Yeah, and, and this is um, getting a little bit too confusing because right. I'm, a, I'm asking for a very simple thing here. Um, if somebody makes a claim about something and I want to know whether or not the claim is accurate, I have to have something that I can go examine in reality. I mean, you're saying it, it exists, I assume. If it exists, that means that it, it, it is manifest somewhere how or some way in reality. And so uh, what, are we, what are we talking about? Where, where do I, if somebody says God created the universe, where do I go to check to see if we have a God that can create universes? Uh, I understand what you're saying there, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you know, a scientist. I couldn't demonstrate those things to you. I mean, could you, could you demonstrate to me some, some physics? Like, could you build a Tesla coil for me right now? But I mean, that no. Doesn't but I'm not making claims coils. about Tesla coils. No, I know, I know. But that's the. That's, that's but the I can at least get a schematic for a Tesla that. coil. Can I get a schematic for God? She could demonstrate some rocks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the 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 idea. It's almost like um, I might not understand how the brakes of my car work, but I can go learn about it. I can go examine them. I can go take a look at them. I can go well, look at Tesla go, coils. You can go learn about God too. You Where would I go and look at a God and look at the schema for God? I said look at a God, and you said learn about, and I'm telling you that you can learn about God. No, it's hearing people make claims that I can't confirm is not learning about anything. That's just simply accepting claims without verifying them, which I don't understand. What I'm saying is that it, you can tell me that you know X is causing all kinds of things, but I still don't know okay, what X this, is. This is this is more or less what I'm saying. Like, yes, you can go learn how to build a Tesla coil, but you can't do that tomorrow. As in, I cannot present to you the evidence of God today because I have not studied on how to present said evidence. Yeah, there is no. It's, it's not about yeah, there, there I mean, really You believe it? I mean, what convinced uh, you? You, a you brought up the Bible that, a few times, but a lot of people yeah. read the same Bible and come to incredibly different and diverse conclusions about what God is like. But unfortunately. Uh, we're totally out of time, but I hope you will call back again some other week because this has been a really good discussion. It has. All right. Thank you. I will. Thanks, Elijah. Have a good day.